Goal 15 is protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably manage forests, combat desertification and halt and reverse land degradation and halt biodiversity loss. In this introduction to Goal 15, we see the interrelation of different ecosystems together. But the terrestrial one and forests are critical. It's estimated that if we were to plant forest trees we could absorb all the excess carbon dioxide that we could avoid the immediate impacts of rising climate from the greenhouse gas and provide a stable world. Surely we must do this. And surely let's not lose the forests that we have. Fifteen point one says by 2020 ensure the conservation, restoration and sustainable use of terrestrial and inland freshwater ecosystems and their services in particular forests, wetlands, mountains and drylands in line with obligations under international agreements. 15.2 by 2020 promote the implementation of sustainable management of all types of forests halt deforestation, restore degraded forests and substantially increase afforestation and reforestation globally. 15.3 By 2030, combat desertification, restore degraded land and soil including land affected by desertification, drought and floods and strive to achieve a land degradation neutral world. 15.4 By 2030 ensure the conservation of mountain ecosystems including their biodiversity in order to enhance their capacity to provide benefits that are essential for sustainable development. 15.5 Take urgent and substantial actions to reduce the degradation of natural habitats halve the loss of biodiversity and by 2020 protect and prevent the extinction of threatened species. 15.11 is the uh, indicators. Forest area is a proportion of total land area. 15.12 proportion of important sites for terrestrial and freshwater biodiversity that are covered by protected areas by ecosystem type. For the indicator for 15.21, the pr progress towards sustainable forest management is the indicator. 15.31, the proportion of land use that is degraded over total land area. 15.41, coverage by protected area of important sites for mountain biodiversity. We have also 15.42, which is the Mountain Green Cover Index and 15.51 is a Red List Index. Goal 15.6 is promote fair and equitable sharing of the benefits arising from the utilization of genetic resources and promote appropriate access for such resources and promote the uh, this access as internationally agreed. There is an indicator, 15.61, the number of countries that have adopted legislative, administrative and policy frameworks to ensure fair and equitable sharing of benefits. The goal 15.7, take urgent action to end poaching and trafficking of protected species of flora and fauna and address both demand and supply of illegal wildlife products. 15.71 
the proportion of traded wildlife that was poached or illicitly trans traded. Goal 15.8 by 2020 introduce measures to prevent the introduction and significantly reduce the impact of invasive alien species on land and forest ecosystems and control or eradicate the priority species. And as an indicator, 15.81, proportion of countries adopting relevant national legislation and adopting resourcing the prevention adequately resourcing the prevention or control of invasive alien species. You can see uh, some alien species here uh, in this forest, for example. Some of them are alien, uh, especially when we look at disturbed land, such as the track. In the track here we can find. 15.9, uh, the goal by 2020, integrate ecosystem and biodiversity values into national local planning, development processes, poverty reduction strategies and accounts. And we have an indicator, 15.91, progress towards national targets established in accordance with IHG Biodiversity Target 2 of the Strategic Plan for Biodiversity 2011-2020. Uh, we will continue as we explore in the terrestrial ecosystems. There are different types. Let's go to another one. Uh, to continue with the goals.